Hello everyone, so today I'll be talking about my unpopular K-pop opinions on HYBE. I've done ones on the big three, you can watch them if you're interested. People criticize HYBE as an indirect dislike for BTS. None of the top four companies are good or perfect. They're all flawed, but the hate for HYBE is bizarre. HYBE isn't perfect, but compared to other companies, they are better when it comes to management and overall treatment of their artists. I can tell the idols under HYBE are generally treated more fairly than artists under the big three. But yet, K-pop stands try to make HYBE out to seem like the worst K-pop company to exist. Someone posted a ranking of worst K-pop companies and among the companies with scandals like abusing artists, not paying their idols, slave contracts, not giving their artists creative freedom, and overall mismanagement, HYBE was at the top. And there was a comment like, I can excuse slave contracts, but I draw the line at mergers and acquisitions and I couldn't agree more. You ask them their issue with HYBE and what makes them so horrible and they'll tell you it's because they acquired other companies which is literally what every business does. They bought VLive which is because Apple have closed regardless. K-pop sounds always jump on hate trains whenever they have an opportunity to drag HYBE. They don't even care if it's a lie. For example, when it was revealed that 50-50 was approached by a company to sign them up. There was multiple hit tweets assuming it was hype and everyone was agreeing and calling hype all sorts of names but then the truth came out and everyone became silent. People seem to attack hype for every little thing, why not holding other companies accountable for the same reason? For example, when hype announced their intention of doing NFTs, they were crucified heavily. Not to say it's right, but other K-pop companies like SM, Cube, and Starships have been selling NFTs for months but didn't get half the backlash HYBE got. They dragged HYBE for acquiring companies, called them a monopoly despite not even knowing the meaning of the word, while staying silent as Kakao, an actual monopoly who is doing the same stuff but worse because they actually have power over the K-pop industry. They can wake up and decide to wipe all the K-pop songs from streaming platforms like they've done before but sure HYBE is the evil monopoly. People call HYBE the worst company in K-pop for minor reasons and scrutinize everything and everyone related to them. And I just can't help but go, why the strong hate for HYBE when there are other worst companies except their connection to BTS? People hate BTS to a point that they attack any and everything attached to them because there is absolutely no other explanation as to why other K-pop companies can get away with worse things while HYBE is villainized for buying an app that was going to close anyways. They don't support some things HYBE does, but you have to admit that this hate and being labeled as the worst K-pop company doesn't make any sense whatsoever. TXT's discography is generic. Generic doesn't necessarily mean bad, so I'm not saying that discography is bad, it's just that there is nothing about it that makes it unique or stand out. They tend to play it safe with their music. Their discography gives vibes of something a Western boy band would sing. People hate new jeans because they are under hype and happen to be successful not because of their age. The new jeans hate is simply rooted in the hype hate and anything attached to it. Although some of the discourses as to why minors shouldn't debut are valid, new jeans aren't the first group to debut with minors nor are they the last, so why is their case such a big deal? And it's gotten to a point where K-pop stands screen protect minors but at the same time use the fact that new jeans are minors as a drag in fan wars. I also didn't see this energy with baby monster who have members that is younger than New Jeans youngest members or I, which shows you the hypocrisy of K-pop stands and how they don't actually care about minors. Cause if they did, then they would have given the same energy to any and everyone. K-pop stands use the protect minor cards to get free passes to pick on New Jeans while being hypocrites, and no one says anything. They can just call New Jeans fandom, and it's normalized. And people don't see anything wrong with that. It's crazy. Seventeen makes noise music. I always see people praising Seventeen's discography when there is no difference between it and the noise music from fourth gen boy groups. Which brings me to my next point. People only talk in Stan Seventeen to talk bad about other hype groups. Hype is home to another big boy group that is constantly subjected to hate within the K-pop community, and Seventeen are seen as the competition to said boy group. Thus, K-pop stands token Stan Seventeen, claiming they are the most talented and have the best discography while hating on the other boy group and other hype groups in general. 
but you never see them when it's time to actually support 17 they only praise them when it's time to shade other hype groups la seraphim's side two tracks are underwhelming in comparison to their b-sides i'm not a huge fan of la seraphim title tracks to be honest the only time i think they slayed their title track is with anti-fragile the other times i'd pick their b-sides over the title tracks i think blue flame is a much better song than fearless and if psych and the blue bird's wife is better than unforgiven the title tracks just tend to be underwhelming for me the reason promise 9 isn't as big as other hype groups is not because of mismanagement first of all promise is under plea this same company as 17 and their comeback announcements and promo rollouts is the same as every other k-pop group they also promote in music shows like every other k-pop group they have even have the added benefits of getting ads for their music videos which hype groups don't usually get so them not being as big is no one's fault it's not as if their music is bad either they're just unfortunate and hyphen is a boring group they like individuality and their scandals overshadow everything about them in general. Unlike most K-pop groups, and hyphen members rarely go viral for anything fun except that one time with that Sung Hoon meme. Anytime you see them go viral is for a controversial statement and that has overshadowed everything about them including their music. But I guess them being boring and lacking individuality makes sense because they came from a survival show and have everything about them including their life live streams scripted, leaving no room for people to actually see their true personalities. BTS hasn't peaked yet. People think that the military is going to affect BTS but I think they're going to come back bigger and stronger than they ever were. The members started their solo careers and Jungkook alone is outperforming Dynamite and Butter's numbers as a soloist mind you like that's insane. I see their 2025 comeback to not just be the biggest thing in K-pop but one of the biggest things in music as a whole too and I think they will break and set even more records and grow even bigger. BTS doesn't have a particular sound and they have the most versatile discourse in K-pop history. BTS generally has the most versatile discography in K-pop. When BTS released their English songs, people were saying they changed their sound, yada yada yada, and all that. But the thing is, BTS never had a particular sound. They debuted with hip hop. Hwaya Young Waha era was RB, Love Yourself era was pop, Mod 7 was a mix of everything. B was filled with soothing ballads. They have every single genre you can look for in their discography and no other K-pop group except them has been able to pull that off. Which is why I appreciate their discography a lot. I don't get why people don't talk about their discography being amongst the best in K-pop. It's really good. It's versatile. You can really find any genre, any sound you're looking for there. Hype has the most well-rounded groups. Hype groups don't have any particular specialty because they are the most well-rounded groups. Other big three companies tend to lack in every aspect and specialize in only one. The Hype nose doesn't exist. Only two idols from Hype are thought to have undergone rhinoplasty so I don't know who created this whole Hype nose stuff and everyone else ran with it. People over exaggerate Hype's autotune. First of all, autotune is something every K pop company uses, and people use it to discredit music from Hype groups. Even when a song obviously has no autotune, K pop stands to say the music is filled with autotune because they can't admit it's good. I remember when John Cook really stay alive, and the discourse I saw was that people didn't like it because of autotune. Like, girl, where? Anyways, honestly, the opinions on hype could go on and on, but I might do those in an overall opinion video.